Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whenever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the other day we saw Mike Bovi Songo, a close ally of William Sabai Ruto, a man who is very close to his government, though with no any position, trying to share out videos that was exposing the money, solid cash, in his own office at home. Got what you want to guess. Sonko was trying to brag about the money he has and they were saying this just a change for enjoying here and there with his wives. It brought a lot of debate in this country and uh, Gaucho, the president uh, yeah, Bunge Wanainch, is weighing in on this issue also. He had reacted on the issue of Mike Sonko uh, displaying cash in public and according to him there's two things that pointed out that Sonko has no money <laughs> that's why he's bragging of the little money that he has in his capacity in, in his uh, uh, self at home and he's trying to compare with the other people who have money Uhuru Kenyatta now in Guinea who say nothing about the money they have but again my main point is what he talked about Sonko role in William Ruto's government, which is very clear. Listen to him, then from here, I will again show you what Gaucho mean in his statement to do with the Mike Sonko role in William Ruto's government. Listen to this. Sonko, Ana Pesa, Sonko ni PR. Sonko, wewe, we, mtu wa kijiji anajiweje kama ile dola ni fake kama ni, ni origin. Sonko ana pesa. Na mimi naambia Sonko sasa hii Sonko amebaki kama gun. Juu sasa hii Ruto akitaka makashako akitaka kufanya mbaya, kitu yote mbaya anapea Sonko, Deuri na Jagua. Ndio watu wake wa kuorganize gun. So Sonko ni gun ya Uda, ni gun ya ya nani? Ya Gashagua. Wakati watu walienda kwa Samba ya Uru ni Sonko Gashag na ni Sonko Jagua na Deuri ndio walepanga. Kuenda kwa gasi ya Raila ni Sonko Jagua na Deuri ndio wale. Sasa Sonko ni gun ya ya Ruto. Kama Ruto anapenda Sonko, angesa malizia kesi, wangesa malizia kesi, wangesa malizia waititu kesi, yuzi wana waititu akilia. Unaona? Wanajua Sonko wawezi mpea nafasi. Hea atakuwa tu huko apewe anda au takipewa gun milioni kumi, aweke saba, hii tatu watumie kwa magun. So mimi kwa upande yangu Sonko wako na pesa kukula na kuweka mpango wakando mmoja either mjeluwa ama mkamba. Lakini sio pesa ambayo watu naongeleti pesa serious. Sonko ana pesa. Mtu wako na pesa onyeshi. Hakuna siku kaboka wameweza pesa kwa TV. Hakuna siku wa uru kinyata wameweka pesa kwa TV. So Sonko ana pesa. Sonko wako na pesa ya kufuta shisha na kukunywa gili bis. So hile mambo ya kunyesha pesa na watu kuna njaa. Hizo ni sinema na kipindi. Mambo ingine. Mimi nataka kusema ya kwamba. Sahi nimesikia Ruto ameweka mpaka ma landlord hapa ndani. Mtu yote ambaye ako na nyumba atakuwa anataksiwa. Mimi nimeshukuru William Ruto kwa hiyo kwa sababu wale wako na Now to confirm what Gaucho is talking about the gunism work that has been assigned to Mike Movie Sonko. It is better you listen to this clip is an old clip we have shared here several. But again it explains better what Gaucho is talking about for you to understand him better. Listen to this. Sai to Mana Deep State na system Wameaza Kuchoma Magari is a mekane ni mahasla wana choma magari. Mimi na lega kutoboa ni se me ivi. Twenty seventeen. Wakati kunikwana manda mano ya ODM. Mimi na kibicho na deep state wale wengine na system. Tuliwanda kuprint t-shirts za ODM. Tukanunua magari second hand kwa mashorum. Tukazichoma huko Ngong Road. Ionekane, ionekane ni ODM. Kumbe ni deep state na system. Mwache kwa ribia Hasla Nation. Now we are continuing with the panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not, you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the Returners and Brothers Amasa. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. 
Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now it is very clear Mike Sonko started revealing what they were doing in the Jubilee government towards the NASA coalition <clears throat> during that time. All the bad things that they were doing and again what they were doing to before NASA there was the called coalition. So you dress goons in ODM t-shirt. Wanaenda ku brand. Tirdhana wanafa. Wanamua magari, wanaanga kuchoma kwa barabara. Then you start putting it on a, an ODM party that is peaceful. Put blame on them, then unleash goons. Use police to arrest and do all that other heinous act. That was Mike Songo. He was revealing this because Songo walikosana na uhuru Kenyatta. Uhusiano wao ukakatika akaanza kusema mambo yalikuwa yanafanya the question is who was leading the operations in the jubilee party during that tenure of ugnata in government because we have to understand that very clear it was not who ugnata was leading operations the man who was sitting right at the headquarters of jubilee party it was none other than william samway roto that why that time he was a deputy party leader of jubilee party and of course deputy but leader of jubilee coalition so he was the man who was running the operation of the party anything to touching on politics it was well organized by one william samway root so what mike songo was talking about it will touch on who because who was the president but the real man who was organizing on how such gunism act would happen it was william root so Sonko was exposing Uhuru, but the real money behind this, it was William Root. Today, Sonko is now with William Samway Root, Kenya Panda government. The question we'll be asking today: what we have witnessed at Northland, who was leading that operation? Was it goons organized by the government? was doing that your guess is as good as mine it will take us to Mike Sonko's expose the man now who was leading those operations it was Gashagwa but then who are the people who are executing the real plan on the ground Gaucho has told us the likes of Mike Sonko and other people who are close to Gashagwa and the William Rutgers government so Songo cannot run away from this because he once talked about it and he claimed that he was used. So what stops Kenyans to have the perception that this government is using Mike Sonko to commit all those heinous acts using some boy that they are going to pay some cash here and there. And now Gaudi is saying that such money that Songo was displaying there could be some of the money they are using to pay some youth to act as goons or pay those goons to go and do those heinous act. We cannot stop talking about this. People will have such statement. They will think like that. Because Sonko at one point exposed it. <laughs> Today there is a plan to have Jubilee NDC. The people who will be there causing chaos will be people who maybe are being strategically put there and paid by people like Mike Mbobi Sonko who is getting orders from the office of the Gashagwa, William Samaruto, to cause chaos. How can we stop letting Mike Sonko to that kind of goodness that is happening? So, the people that are going to be another, according to Gauche, and what we have been told, and what we are seeing, could be money that is coming from the office of the Gashagwa and the office of the president. Taxpayers' money, not Mike Sonko's money. Ushuru wako na wangu. Wanakusanya. Wanaanza kupea watu kama kina Mike Sonko kuanza kufana mambo ya siyasa za mchafuko wa kuharibu vya mazengene. Ruto ni moi ambaye anaishi kwa sasa ambaye hako na wai. Vile moi haku taka uhuru wa vya mavingi, Ruto atake uhuru wa vya mavingi. And because of that, he will frustrate 
any political party that is not aligned to him. And those who are really aligned to him, he wants to force them to go into uh, uh, and then you join your party. You merge your parties <laughs> to form one political party. He wants to be a president of one single party state. So he will use goons to do all those activities. And we see Mike Sonko being the leader of the operations of the goons in this country. Coach has told us, we have heard from Sonko himself, it makes us to believe that indeed we can't separate good things actually happening in this country. What we saw happening at Spectra East Africa, when the goons attacked Raila Monodinga's property at industrial area, that cylinder uh, property. It was well organized by goons and the people who are giving these orders on the ground is Gashagwa. So we have that chain of command. Ruto, Gashagwa, and Mike Soko, they were like goons here at We are the overseer of goons. Now he's a person of my honor, overseer of goons are a pair of goons. I don't know your views, but the statement from Gaucho is convincing and it's making sense and that's my view. I agree with that statement. Mike Sonko is being used by the state to commit all the hideous act on the ground. It has been the comment section for continuation of this conversation. I want to thank you so much for listening to me up this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.